When inspiration strikes, we want to get right to the fun part. We don't want to waste time looking for where our tools are. So spending a little time on having the right tools and putting them in a place organized in your workstation really saves a lot of time and energy and lets us get right to the fun part. Hey everyone, Lindsay here, and I'm back with another DIY organizational nerdy video. I'm gonna show you some of the new tools I got, and I'm gonna show you my digital workstation tools and the brand new workstation that I created for my more physical tools with woodworking and metal. So let me show you what that looks like. Starting with my newest area, this is my DIY section. I designed and built the cubbies that my main tools are sitting on, and I designed and built the things that the lockers are sitting into. Those are additional storage as well as the gray cubes underneath storage as well. I have spare wood on the far right and the mesh wire is holding up a few accessories. In between the two lockers are my larger form camera equipment such as my uh, various lights and green screen and tripod. Even though I have a table that I can assemble small things at, most of my projects are going to be outdoors, but it's nice to have a small indoor table to assemble things in case I need to. For my tools, I decided to go with Ryobi because I loved how one battery can be used across so many different tools. So at the very top of the cubby are the batteries, the charger, and my Raptor Square for easy access. On the side, I drilled in a hook so I could have my drill bits easily accessible, put a magnet on the metal part of the hook so I can have my measuring tape easily accessible as well. The larger items are on the bottom shelf, such as my circular saw. I put a push pin on the inside to hold my circular saw blade, and then I have a tool bag of mystery items that we won't go into. I have my toolbox on the middle section, which is a generic toolbox, and next to that, my reciprocating saw, my reciprocating saw blades, my drill, and my sander. I put another push pin on the inside near my sander for the sanding pads. These are the basic larger tools I use for DIY. Switching over to my other workstation, this is where I spend a lot of time because of my full-time job doing graphic design, which is currently work from home, my freelance graphic design, and my live art streaming on Twitch. For Twitch, I use a Blue Yeti mic and a stream deck and my Beats by Dre headphones. You'll also see that all of the cables, all of my camera equipment for my vlogs, and everything else is basically an arm's length away, which is the way I designed it recently, and up top I'll put a link on how I redid this whole wall. So thank you guys for checking out the video. I've had so much fun organizing and coming up with a system that works for me. Everyone works differently, so, you know, look at the way other people work. There's tons of videos online. And if you want to see more of my videos of nerdy DIY organizational videos, hit subscribe. Um, this is how my setup is now, and I'm sure it's gonna evolve over time, and I can't wait to show you some brand new projects. So I will catch you next time with a new nerdy organizational video, probably more geared towards my collectibles now that I have a workstation, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.